Green and welcome to my kitchen and today is a hot day. Today is the hottest day of the year from what I understand all across the country um, and we are not cooking a hot meal. We are having cold dinner so um, this time of year we often will have at least a couple of times a week a cool summer meal and that would include a, either a cold platter or a salad or you know a hearty salad and tonight that's what we're going to do we're going to have a macaroni and tuna salad for dinner and since i've never made that for you i'm going to go ahead and show you how i do it um, what i have here is a one pound box of shell pasta that i cooked so that equals two pounds after it's cooked i went ahead and i drained it and i cooled it with ice and cold water and I cooled off the pot and returned it back to the pot because there's no reason to dirty another bowl. You know, um, we're already having to do enough work and it's hot and my kitchen is hot and I hate that. But, you know, it is what it is and that's what we have to deal with. So, one pound of uh, dry pasta that's been cooked. And then we're over here, I have four cans of albacore chunk white tuna. This is like the the step down from the pure albacore tuna because that albacore tuna is great and we love it but it is a little pricey when I can get this for a dollar a can um, then I get it so way up from a chunk light it is up from a chunk light it's much tastier in my opinion I do not like chunk light tuna I mean yeah, if yeah. if it was all that I had then I would I would certainly eat it but um, but this is chunk white albacore four cans and they have been drained and the cats have gotten the juice because we don't waste the juice because, you know, if you waste the tuna juice, there are certain things that will happen to you. You'll be shunned from you, the age of six to... Eight. He was shunned for three years, or two years. Yeah, two years. <laughs> Those of you who are fans of The Office will understand what we're talking about. Anyway, also over here I've got about a cup of chopped celery, a cup of chopped onion, and a cup of chopped bell pepper. We're going to dress this with some uh, grainy mustard and some mayonnaise and several seasonings. What I have here is a teaspoon each of salt-free seasoning, celery seed, onion powder, garlic powder, seasoned salt, and a half teaspoon each of cracked black pepper and dill weed. And I know it's kind of weird, and you'll, you will often see me do this, where I use um, the salt-free seasoning and the seasoned salt together, but they work really well together, and I like the flavor that they impart to a lot of dishes. So um, it's like Mrs. Dash, yeah, the salt-free seasoning. No, but no Janes. No what? There's no Janes. No, there's no Janes in here because I'm using regular seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. So, let's start putting this together. We're just basically going to mix all of these things together and then we're going to let them sit for about a half an hour and then we're going to eat dinner because it's about that time. I got all this mise en place done ahead of time. That, that means you don't have to watch me do it and it's not long and boring and I'm really trying to, um, you know, make my videos shorter because sometimes, sometimes I can't do something like when I made the cheese and the cottage cheese, I can't do that in five minutes. I have to have full time and you guys need to follow along. And if you're going to refer back to this stuff, like if I'm canning, that can't be done shortly or sh in short order. You have to get all of those things. You're going to have to take the time because I know that you're going to ref refer back to all of this. So... I'm going to sprinkle in all of these herbs and spices. It smells really wonderful, frankly. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be a nice, fresh, quick meal. And we're going to have it with some homemade rolls that I baked the other day when it wasn't so hot. It's been raining here a lot. I mean, we've gotten tremendous storms over the last, I don't know. I mean, every day for like the past week. It has. Okay, I'm going to use some grainy mustard. You can use whatever mustard you have. You can use Dijon mustard. You can use deli mustard. You can use yellow mustard. doesn't matter. I'm not going to use that much, like a tablespoon, and that's it. And then I'm going to use about a cup of mayonnaise. And before you all have a heart attack, oh my God, a cup of mayonnaise. You know what? This is going to serve like 12 to 16 people, so don't get your panties in a wad. And if you don't like to use this kind of mayonnaise, you can use light mayonnaise, or you can dress it with oil and vinegar or whatever you like. You can also put crab meat in here, or 
maybe a little baby shrimp. Um, that would be nice. You could make this a seafood pasta salad. It would be lovely. I would do that with some thawed baby shrimp that you buy in the freezer section and some shredded um, imitation crab meat. That would be really, really lovely. Sometimes I like to put black olives in with my crab salad, and that's really nice too. We have turtle food. Well, I'm not going to put those in here, so not tonight anyway. Okay, now we're going to taste it for seasoning. Everything she has mentioned is what I feed the turtles. Oh, that's really, really nice. Here, I like to taste it off of the mayonnaise spoon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. That is how I make really easy tuna and macaroni salad. Full of vegetables, full of protein, and this is gonna last dinner. A f at least a few lunches. Come on. There's a ton of salad here. Mm -hmm. Between the four of us, this will at least last three days. And um, it'll be it'll disappear, I promise you. So I hope that you try this, and I hope that you love it. I will put the recipe up on my website, and you can find that at www.noreenskitchen.com. I thank you so much for stopping by this evening on this hot, hot summer day. I always love it when you drop by and we can share what we're having for supper together. So, uh, again, I hope you try it and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.